Hi, I'm Rich Miller. I'm the editor of Data Center Knowledge. We're here at the Open Compute Summit, and this morning we're visiting at the Dell booth. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Rafael Zamora uh, with Dell. So, Rafael, tell us a little bit about uh, what you've got here. This is some of the uh, Open Compute gear that, that Dell's been developing. Uh, a little different from some of the other things we've been seeing, so maybe you could give us an overview. Great. Hi, everybody. Um, so what I have here is uh, the street name is called the C8000, and the C8000 really denotes the chassis. Uh, its code name and development was called Zeus. It's actually its third generation of its kind in pre-production. Uh, there's actually multiple other variants, right? One is Scorpion, one is Viper, and this one is Zeus. Uh, this differentiates in a way in that we actually, in the spirit of uh, disaggregation, we're able to utilize purpose-built sleds, whether it's single wide and double wide. And I can, if you actually point the camera okay. here, I can show you how I could uh, manipulate the mechanicals. So this is, this section here uh, shows double wide sleds. And these uh, blue release handles are actually the release mechanisms to actually release what is the smallest unit of compute, right? And uh, here, let's, this one, that one's a little sticky. So this one here, once you release this tab, this entire unit actually releases itself from the chassis. And this is actually what we call a sled, right? And the sled for us is the smallest unit of compute. It could be a computational sled, which is double wide, giving you real estate. Real estate to put one board and drive options, GPU options. And then you could actually have another variant, which is a double wide sled. This right. is a little long here, right? Um, hey. By design. And uh, by creating a pull-out design with books stacking, uh, with, with it like, uh, with it stacking on a shelf like books, is that what, you, what we free up here is a mechanical's access of top-loading drives that you could pull out and service hot. And uh, once you, pour, if this was in produ production, and if you pull this out, you could actually maintain persistent connectivity and swap this out individually. Um, another example of the sled design is a single wide sled, which is this portion here. Essentially, this sled and this sled are identical. The difference is the real estate. Obviously, if it's a thinner real estate profile, I could put more in a given room. So, if I did not have a power supply sled in row here, I could put 10 of these double wide. If I didn't have this power supply sled in row, I could put five double wides in a 4 u space. Now, what happens when I transition from a 19-inch wide to a open compute compliant 21-inch wide, right? So what you essentially get is a, obviously, a wider girth, right? And in spirit of uh, open compute, what I'm able to do now is give you more space with inside a given real estate basically fitting in the same type of sled designs with inside this chassis, right? So imagine these sleds in this form factor, in the same height, I'm able to increase my, either it's a uh, storage density per U increases because of that extra space, my computational density per U increases uh, without really, uh, without really having a lot of manipulation done from uh, the units of computes, which is a sled. So this is slightly different with the open compute, a uh, slightly different take on the orientation than some of the ones that Facebook's shown, where they've got three that are flat. There's a little taller unit, and you, you slip them in sideways. Yeah, uh, you know, in adherence of that, uh, you are correct, right? We, we are putting it on its side. Like what I was saying, it stacks like books on a shelf. Um, and it was really derived around the mechanicals of having this type of portability. So um, one thing I'd also like to show you is the actual power supply sled. So from a form factor perspective, it's dimensionally, it's about the same as a computational single wide sled. The difference there is really the internals. As you can see here, there's a, a, a stagger of uh, conventionally sized power supplies, but the difference is there is the way that we are actually going to utilize the space for a different function to operate with inside the chassis. Um, one thing to also note is that this type of infrastructure will actually have provisions for in-row power supply and external power supplies.
So this looks like it gives you the flexibility. You know, we've seen some of the open rack designs where they've got a tray dedicated to the power supplies. This lets you sort of mix and match and put this like on, on board and, and put them right together if you like. That's really, uh, and that's the fantastic thing about the whole disaggregation aspect, is that it really allows customers, users, developers to mix and match the units applicable, applicable to their development or production needs. You know, if you need more disk, you just add in a storage sled. If you need more computational headroom, you would actually add in a compute sled. Simple.